brief talk on penile anatomy as well as erections and ejaculations. Um, so penile anatomy, the ones we're going to focus on here on the picture are the corpus cavernosa. That's these two pink structures. This is um, basically spongy erectile tissue. And these are mainly responsible for you getting an erection. Corpus cavernosum also help out. I'm, I'm sorry, corpus cavernosum also help out. And the other thing is that they house the urethra. So sponges are yellow and urethra is yellow. So easy peasy. Uh, the last thing we'll take note of here is that there's a tunica albiginea. That's this gray thing in the picture. It is a band of connective tough fibrous tissue and it surrounds the corpus cavernosum right there. All right, so let's talk about erections ejaculation. Erection is mediated by the parasympathetic nervous system, and specifically that's the pelvic splanchnic nerve. Let's go back a little bit. And the pelvic splanchnic nerve is going to basically cause an increase in nitric oxide. Do you remember what nit nitric oxide does? It causes smooth muscle dilation. And spe specifically, that's through increased cyclic GMP. That's going to uh, decrease the amount of calcium in your um, smooth muscles, leading to smooth muscle relaxation. And what happens when your smooth muscles relax? If you look at this, this is all your smooth muscle here. And they're, they're like squeezing on these blood vessels here, making them vasoconstricted. So if your smooth muscles relax, you're going to get vasodilation more blood flows through, they uh, swell up, and that's how you get an erection. Okay, and uh, looking at the opposite effect of how do you get rid of an uh, erection, basically, if you have you get, take norepinephrine, what does that do? It's going to cause smooth muscle contraction. And that will lead to vasoconstriction. And that will decrease blood flow to the penis, and that's how you kill an erection. So let's talk, about, actually, let's take a um, quick little break, and we'll talk about Viagra, also known as sildenafil. And if you remember the mechanism of action, that's a PDE5 inhibitor, phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor. And the way this is um, related to erections is that Cyclic GMP is normally breaking, broken down, so phosphodiesterase 5 blocks cyclic GMP, or more specifically, it breaks it down. So if you happen to inhibit PD5, then you lose more of this, and cyclic, you lose all this, cyclic GMP increases, then you get an erection. Okay, simple as that. Now let's talk about emission. So what exactly is emission? It's movement of fluid from the prostate, so it processes some bunch of fluid here, this, and then the seminal vesicles, which also store some seminal fluid, and you move that into the urethra, and that's mediated by the sympathetic nervous system. This is the parasympathetic. This is now the sympathetic nervous system, and specifically, it's the hypogastric nerve. Finally, to get the the semen to shoot out, you need ejaculation. Uh, basically, smooth muscles in the penis in the urethra contract, shooting out the semen. And this is mediated by somatic nerves, um, specifically the pudendal nerve. And the way to remember which one does what, which is that beautiful first aid mnemonic, which is point, squeeze, shoot. Point the penis up with an erection, you squeeze some fluid out into the urethra, and then you shoot it out of the penis. And so, points, point, squeeze, shoot. All right. 